Recently, the World Council for Health posted the Spike Protein Detox Guide, an outstanding health resource that many people might not know about. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the WCH and outline their collaborative research on this important topic. The WCH, in their own words, is a worldwide coalition of health-focused organizations and civil society groups that seek to broaden public health knowledge and sense-making through science and shared wisdom. They are publicly funded, which enables them to be free from the ties of pharmaceutical companies. They note that whether due to viral injection or shedding, the virus spike protein has been linked to adverse effects such as blood clots, brain fog, pneumonia, and myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart. Their detox guide contains some heavy-hitting research. In it, they focus on five different aspects of the virus infection. Some compounds, quote, inhibit the binding of the spike protein to human cells, while others neutralize the spike protein so that it can no longer cause damage to human cells, end quote. Inhibitors include medicines such as pine needles, neem, and ivermectin, while neutralizers include NAC, glutathione, and a number of other herbs. Next, they single out the ACE2 receptors in human cells that the spike protein binds to, reviewing that effective medicines for this include ivermectin and either hydroxychloroquine or quercetin coupled with zinc. IL-6 is a pro-inflammatory cytokine that's been found in far higher levels in those infected versus those not infected. It is inhibited by compounds such as frankincense, dandelion leaf extract, and nigella sativa. I reviewed nigella sativa in a recent video to show that chemical compounds in it can both bind to ACE2 and cytokine receptor sites in human cells, making it doubly effective as a spike medicine. Furin is a protein that has been shown to separate the spike protein and thus allow the virus to enter human cells, and can be inhibited by food chemicals such as limonene found in oranges and lemons. Likewise, serine protease is an enzyme shown to increase viral entry into cells. This enzyme can be inhibited by things like potatoes, green tea, and NAC. What I like about this guide is that although it's extensively researched, they are quick and to the point about getting you the information that you need to know. And with the exception of a few drugs, the entire guide is based on common foods, herbs, supplements, and plants you can find in your backyard. I've posted a link to the detox guide below in the video description. The only thing I might be able to add to the research would be to focus on increasing your levels of nitric oxide, which can both increase blood flow and boost your immune system. I cover my top seven hacks to increase nitric oxide production in this video right here, and I will see you in the next one.